So the road to Johannesburg, November 7 to 9 for the Africa Investment Forum is now on the way. So where do we go from here and what does it mean for those bankable projects already identified by the EFDB for Nigeria that will be showcased in Johannesburg later this year? Let's, let's take a listen to Stella Kilonzo. She's the senior director at the EFDB. She's in charge uh, of the Africa Investment Forum. It is important that we work together to identify what is a critical mass of projects that will actually transform Africa, that will allow us to focus on these particular projects, as well as on the financing and on the sources of financing that will enable us to get there. It's important that we also find a way of positioning our businesses um, so that they are able to be seen by the private sector, or the public sector, as well as the global investors. That's what the Africa Investment Forum provides, an opportunity to position these investment opportunities and be able to showcase these to fellow African uh, private sectors, as well as global investors as well. This morning, um, I will present to you on the Africa Investment Forum, and essentially, it's it's really an area where we will be able to work together. Um, as has been discussed this morning, we have the Africa, African Development High Fives, which is really looking at improving um, the livelihoods of Africa, um, looking at essentially all the areas of the High Fives. Okay, I didn't see, I was looking for Richie. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, as you have seen, uh, we have the high fives. Uh, we also have the Agenda 2063 of the African Union, and we also have the SDGs. Um, as you recall, moving from millions to trillions is very important. When we look at how much financing this is required, it's about 600 to 700 billion per annum just to finance the SDG, for us to be able to meet the SDG targets. To finance the high fives, we require about 170 billion uh, per annum. What is most critical is how will this financing be undertaken? We do provide concessional capital with our partners, the other MDBs, as well as our regional uh, partners. We have our partner, AFIXIM, uh, presented here as well. Uh, what we do provide, we provide financing, but it's not enough. And essentially, it is for us to be able to see how we can leverage all the assets that we have. For example, in Africa, we have about 500 to 600 uh, billion in sovereign wealth funds, as well as in uh, pension funds. We also have the global assets under management of about 85 trillion which means that all this money is available and it's expected the global assets under management are expected to double to 145 trillion uh, by the year 2025. Uh, Stella Kilonzo, the senior director at uh, the Africa Investment Forum of the EFDB. Today we are having the first day of the four-day uh, Africa Export Import Bank annual meetings here in Nigeria for the first time in the last 25 years. So on top of that, we'll be back tomorrow morning with Business Morning. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye from Abuja.